open eye Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Dripping lights Paint the sky Hello everybody and welcome. We're finally getting into the match. Sorry about the little bit of a delay. I think there was some confusion entering the party, entering the private match, but I am so excited to bring you guys this. You are currently watching the CRL East qualifiers. Normally they don't allow spectating and streaming just in case of any possible cheating that could occur, but they did send out a they sent out an application to waive that permission and we were granted it so we are here today and we are with the maroon team we haven't gotten to see them yet this year this is the starting squad the a team as you could say they are up against saint francis in round one and as you can see this is a best of three this is different than most they only have two games to give and to win so a lot different when you enter this kind of game but as we finally now get into it rye guy's gonna have an opportunity and i didn't mention this is you are seeing two of the new players from Aquinas who just now entered this semester, Rye Guy and Spanx. But now Skiz is actually not gonna get a touch on that. Stocks is gonna carry it, maybe look for a reset. He does get it, but wasn't able to use it well enough. Now Skiz will play it off the corner, but it's directly to Rye Guy, who takes a little bit of a shot. Stocks looking for the redirect. Now Spanx over to Stocks, passing play opportunity, not able to be taken advantage of. Rye Guy's gonna get a chance on it, but Skiz meets him to it. Spanx gets a touch on the back end of his car. Now Nap downfield. That's going to be a little bit high, but played out by Stocks. And nobody from Aquinas going after that. They're going to have an opportunity. Now up the wall. Ryguy not able to get a play on that. Spanx able to smack it off the post and save it. Stocks now will take the corner boost and take it up the wall. Does not get a touch. All the way on the other end now. Rye guy gonna get it past one. Into the corner, good demo by Stocks. That's what Aquinas has been working on. Spanks with a shot, score! And Aquinas goes up one. Oh, that is exactly what Aquinas has been working on. It happened towards the tail end of last year. The AQ meta coming out already with the demo. And Aquinas goes up 1-0. Hopping back onto the kickoff, Rye guy pushing that kickoff towards the corner. Stocks is gonna get a chance on that. He does push it off the corner. Nat misses Stocks. Maybe gets a touch for a pass, but Spanks not in there, not there in time, and it'll be cleared out. Nap now playing that off the wall. Stocks with a clear out, but it's only towards Gersh, who takes a shot. Wide open net. Nobody from Aquinas in the net on that. All pushing forward a little bit too much, and St. Francis takes advantage of it. Just straight back into the net. We are tied up one to one. Spanks now off kickoff is going to have a wide open goal. Skiz can't get there in time. And back and forth we go. Aquinas now back up by one. Perfect kill of a kickoff there. And Spanks bangs it in. Skiz just not able to get there. Maybe could have gotten there if he used his flip. But he chose not to. And he cannot catch up to it. And Aquinas takes the lead. Rye guy killing the ball again at kickoff now. A chance for St. Francis. Spanks with an own goal accidentally knocks it off of his car and in and again back and forth we are tied up once again he didn't want to twist his car on that not sure why he didn't because he twisted it went off the top of his hitbox and because of that angle it goes directly into the net 
Nap trying to take a good dunk now, a chance for Aquinas, but Ryguy will miss it. Nap maybe look for a redirect, but with no boost, he can't get to it. Skiz also low boost, choosing not to steal Aquinas' corner. It's an interesting play, and now Spanx will get it out. Stocks now killing it over back to Spanx. Nobody on a, from Aquinas there, though. Ryguy actually takes a good dunk to get a pass out mid. Stocks will come back around on that, pass it off the corner. Gersh going up for it, gets a touch. He's going to carry this out. Spanx does not get there in time, and now Ryguy will drive up the wall. It's a little bit of a touch. Now Stocks, he's just going to send it into the corner. Skiz gets a pass off of it. Spanx coming in for a pass to Ryguy. He's going to play it off the wall maybe for Stocks to come in. Stocks, uh oh, racing back for a boost. Now he comes in for it. Nap towards midfield. Ryguy trying to get a pass out, but it's just right to Skiz. Spanx very low boost, can't do much, tries to get it out, maybe tries to take a dunk, he cannot. Ryguy, however, is up using the last bit of his boost to push this into the corner and Skiz getting it out. Ryguy playing it towards the other side. Nap with a, with a huge miss. Now Stock's coming in, but Skiz does get a touch into the corner. Nap, not a good touch. Ryguy is able to take a dunk on that. Spanx looking for a redirect shot, top of the net. Skiz does make the stop. Nobody from Aquinas crashing that rebound. St. Francis still not able to get it out, but two men in the corner. Stocks, good pass over to Spanx, coming in for the shot, but Gersh continuing to keep it up. One minute remains in game one. We are still tied up. Now a clear down. Stocks isn't going to get there in time. Gersh back into his offensive half, leaving it for Ryguy to clear it. Maybe a calculated fake, fake by Spanx. But now a chance for St. Francis. Ryguy with the mind game, trying to play it out. Uses his boost to pass it towards Spanx on the wall. He's going to push it out towards the net. Gersh pushing it back. Stocks with a backflip to pass, but Spanx backflip, backflips, and nothing can happen. 30 seconds now. Still tied up at one. Stocks getting a pinch off the wall. Good pinch, but Gersh playing that smart. Spanx maybe trying to pass it or keep it to himself, but either way, it's going to be down. Stocks has to race back. And that's in the top right corner. Nobody from Aquinas again was back on that, being a little bit too over aggressive. And now with 15 seconds left, they're gonna have to find the tie. Still a chance now easily if they can get a good kickoff, they will. Nobody from Aquinas decides to do that, but maybe it worked out. Ryguy now with an open net has to flick it, it's wide. Stocks racing in. Can Spanx get there in time? No, Ryguy can't either. Still on the ground. They will have a chance as it rolls off the rim. Stocks misses it. He does collect the dribble, though. He's got to keep this up. He cannot touch the ground. Gets the flick by one. Into the net. Stocks ties it up with zero seconds. We are heading to overtime in game one. Flicks it from midfield. Nap too far. Skiz flies right by it. And we have overtime in game one. This is so intense, as I mentioned, it's a game, it's a best of three situation, insane save by Stocks. Now Skiz looking for a pass to Ski Gersh. I'm tripping over my words here, I can't believe this. Now wide open net, Stocks has to get there in time. He gets there and Aquinas will take game one. Oh my gosh, with 15 seconds, Aquinas went down, but they didn't give up. Stocks ties it at zero seconds, and he is the one to secure, not steals, but secure game one for the Aquinas Saints. And I apologize, I probably will go silent here to now change the overlay, but oh my gosh, Aquinas fighting back. I, oh my gosh, just a heartbreaker of a goal given up on an overcommit, but they fight back. Stocks barely caught that dribble. I honestly thought it had hit the ground, but he catches it, drives it towards midfield, flicks it up over the defense for the goal, and in overtime, Spanks with an amazing shot basically gets credit for the goal, as that would have been in either way. But Stocks secures it. And we head into game two with Aquinas up 1-0 to in the series. And all they need to do is take this game. I wasn't able to mention before, but this is 
a double elimination tournament. So if Aquinas wins, they continue to advance and the loser advances to loser's round. And then if you lose in there, you will be out of the qualifier. Now Stocks with an early opportunity. Nap actually missed that. Stocks was not expecting that. He does pass it to Raigai. Very good pass, but an equally good stop by St. Francis. Now Raigai dumping it back into the offensive half. He's going to look for a redirect. Nice pass out. Stocks not able to get an angle on that. Spanks, though, with an opportunity. Takes a shot. May have been wide, but Skiz able to stop it either way. Now pass out. Gersh, not a very good touch. Raigai turned off of that, not expecting St. Francis to panic and open up the net. Stocks off the corner. Skiz going to play it out, but back towards Raigai. Aquinas getting great pressure this game. Gersh with the miss, but Nap able to get it out. Now Spanks with an opportunity. Off the post, can't get his own rebound. Nap now slowing this down, but Raigai there to meet him again. Great job by Aquinas. They're still keeping this ball in. Maybe St. Francis finally now gets a chance to push it out. Nap, not a good touch. That's going to be played towards mid. Gersh. Still not out of their own half. Double commit from St. Francis. They both went up and both decided not to go for it. Spanks now. Soft pass towards mid. Nap, good touch to get it out. Rye guy trying to keep it in. Now Aquinas forced to go back. St. Francis will get an opportunity. If Stocks turns on this, he will stop it, however. Now he's going to look for another touch. Not able to get it. Gersh playing that off the wall. Rye guy. Soft touch. Didn't get the touch he wanted. It went towards the side rather than Turning into a clear out. Oh, Nap actually a very good redirecting. Gersh cleaning that up. That was an insane touch from Nap right off the side of his car. I realized I didn't even move over the overlay to show 1 0. Hopping back into it. Rye guy now with an opportunity. Aquinas. Had an insane amount of pressure for the first minute of this game, but they couldn't get a goal. And instead, St. Francis marches down the field and gets their own goal themselves. Now they have all the momentum. Stocks, not a powerful touch. Maybe didn't need it, though. Nap will go up. Stocks might have gotten a touch on that, but Spanks clearing it out. Rye guy can get a touch off the wall. Gersh going up awkwardly. Spanks with a shot. Nap with the stop. Stocks trying to backflip into this for the goal. Oh, my gosh, with the reverse goal, you just... Backs up into it, back flips, and we are tied up. Nap, great stop, though. But when you're in that awkward position, all you can do is pretty much kill that ball. You can't actually get a good clear on it. And Stocks immediately seeing that, immediately back flipping, and they tie it up with three minutes left. And Nap missing that, maybe expecting Spinks to get a touch. Rye guy off the wall, maybe looking for Stocks off the wall. Great pass towards mid, but Spinks is not there. Rye guy with a good demo on Nap after one man missed. Playing it off the backboard. Stocks looking for a redirect back. Another pass. Rye guy was there in time, but he wasn't on the ball itself. Good dunk off of Nap. Now off of Skiz. Nap with zero boost. Can't do much. Stocks coming in. Maybe taking a shot. It's going to be high. Now off the wall is Skiz. Rye guy looking for mid. Gersh is going to be there. Stocks now gets dunked by Gersh. Rye guy with an easy save. Stocks looking for the clear out. Not very powerful. Didn't need it, though. Gets it by Skiz as well. That's going to roll up the wall. Skiz going to look to play this out, but with no boost. He misses shot. Take it, Stocks. Gets the goal. Aquinas up 2-1. to one. Aquinas definitely taking advantage of miscues from St. Francis. I believe that was Skiz up on the ceiling. He missed it with no boost. And the defense forced to play awkwardly. And Stocks just plays it right off the defender into the net. Now they're going to have a chance off of kickoff as Stocks is going to take this up. Oh, look for a ceiling shot. Can he get it? But he flips the wrong way. Not able to get to it, but an offensive chance is still here for Aquinas. But Nap will clear it out. Now that's down. Rye guy playing that a little bit dangerously. I think that would have been wide, but... It is smart to keep it away from St. Francis. Now passing it mid. He does get bumped, but Stocks taking a shot into the net. I thought that was wide from our perspective, but it's not. Aquinas with insurance with a minute 30 remaining. Just plays it up top right. Gersh not able to get there. Aquinas looking to take the sweep and head into round two. Spanks up, not able to get there. It's a bump on Gersh to prevent a shot, however. Great play, Rye Guy. Great challenge there. 
Knapp playing it towards the offensive corner. Spanks trying to get it out, but Skiz is going to be there, but he back passes it to Gersh. Now Stocks with 32 boost. We'll see what he can try to do. Demo on Knapp. Plays off the corner, but Stocks with only one single boost remaining has to rotate back. Spanks now. Gonna let Skiz play this. Ryagai taking a pass to Spanks now. Pass back to Ryagai, great passing play, but Skiz with a better save. 50 seconds left, but St. Francis is not getting any offensive pressure right now. They're keeping it in the half. Aquinas is now back towards mid. Ryagai racing in for the shot off the post. Aquinas looking to march on to round two. Rai guy getting there just in time. Beat snap to it. Off the side post and in. Three goals up. 42 seconds remain. Aquinas at this rate will head to round two. Knapp is going to wait on this. He misses. Gersh will as well. Now pass mid. Stocks top left. Knapp with an incredible save. Spanks. Maybe if he chose to go after that, he immediately could have gotten to it, but he chooses not to. But it doesn't matter with 30 or 25 at this point remaining. In the game, St. Francis is getting no pressure, absolutely nothing. Aquinas is going to clear out, and it's all but a formality at this point. Skiz clearing it out off the side wall. Seven seconds remain. Stocks trying to clear it out. Gets it by Gersh. Aquinas marches on to winner's round two in the CRL qualifiers. Still up. Still a chance, Gersh playing that up, maybe looking for some pressure heading into their losers match next, but it does touch the ground, Aquinas takes the match against St. Francis. What a series from Aquinas. They were down one, or they were down by one goal with 15 seconds left. They march back and eventually win it in overtime and they crush St. Francis in round two scoring four unanswered goals. Having 11 shots, I know I just sent you to the we'll be right back screen, but 11 shots for Aquinas, only three for St. Francis, just a testament to the absolute pressure that Aquinas was putting on them. And now we will wait to hop into the next match. Let's see when... It's scheduled to start on Smash. It says 12.25, so it could be any minute now. I will turn some tunes on, but I would like to tell you that also Aquinas White is competing in this, and let's see, they have not made it through their first series yet, and it's not updated on Smash, so not sure how they're doing, but we wish them the best of luck. Benzing the birthday boy, playing it today on his birthday, hoping to have a good birthday present in a CRL spot. But I will turn some music on, and we will be back in a few minutes. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in, hold tight.
There's a distance between us It's getting hard to reach out Haven't seen you in seasons But all I hear is your voice I know my limits You can break me down but I'll stay till the finish line And I've been counting minutes for quite some time now Just to see you again And I've been counting days to get away
Welcome back, everybody. We're about to hop into the next match, and this is, I did confirm, this is against Michigan State University, so a cross-state rival here. Aquinas wants to show them that we are the best team here to advance onto the next round, and Michigan State actually didn't even get to play in the previous round. Their team was a no-show and, di and was disqualified, so Aquinas coming off of an insane motivational win and Michigan State with their first day of the game Spanks early opportunity bottom right knocks it in Aquinas up 1-0 early great pass from Ryguy towards mid Spanks going across his body to redirect that redirecting it in the opposite way of which he was going insanely hard to get that angle and Aquinas will go up 1-0 early the first time that, oh, an opportunity again, but not sure how to say his name, if it's Mike or Miko Pog with the stop. But now Ryan P trying to get a clear out. Spanks, though, with an opportunity pass to Stocks. Back passing it, very dangerous. He's going to end up own goaling. Ryan Guy is not going to get back on that. Ryan P with the credit on the goal, but actually that wasn't... Or, Hold it, we gotta watch this all the way through. It was just an unfortunate series of events for Aquinas. Playing off of everybody and into the net. Aquinas just has to let that go. They have to realize that Michigan State, that was not at all their, not at all Michigan State's doing. It was just Aquinas. They just need to stick to their game. Stocks with a ceiling shot opportunity. Gets the shot off, but Rikyo with the save. <laughs> These names are very tough to pronounce, gotta look at them for a second. Stocks now trying to keep it in the offensive half. He does so successfully, now knocks it off the backboard. Straight down, right guy smacking it into the net. Back up, two to one Aquinas. Great dunk Stocks took. Rye guy just smacking it right by the defender into the net, right back up, two to one. Now Ryan P off the wall, 
Ryguy is going to be there for Spanx taking a redirect shot. It'll be a little bit wide passing opportunity. Maybe a mind game fake. Ryan P playing that towards the side a little bit. Stock's going to just play that off the backboard for a pass to Spanx. Top of the net. Nobody in there. Anyway, Spanx up. 3-1 to one Aquinas. They're starting to roll. They did just that. They did shake it right off. Spanx, top of the net. 3-1 insurance already. We're only just over a minute in. Aquinas really rolling. Technically responsible for all four, all four goals in this game. Now that's off the backboard. Stocks racing in for a shot. Rikyo. Riki, I'm just going to say Riki. Playing that out. Ryan P, but Spanx. Knocking that back in, low boost. Ricky into the corner, good demo from Miko. But Stocks is gonna be right there. Two men collide for Michigan State. Ryan P choosing to stay up in the air. Maybe have gotten a, maybe got a touch. Ricky not able to get there. Neither is Pog. Spanks now, not gonna get beaten. He's gonna play that to the corner. Good dunk taken. That was a close opportunity for Michigan State, but played out. Now Stocks trying to get that out, and a Rye guy will bounce it off of Michigan State, and it's going to roll all the way down. Rye guy with no boost to his name can he, well he does get there, but not able to get a touch on Spanks looking for a pass. Rye guy slamming that down. Stocks is up already. Just plays it up. Now Spanks coming in for the shot, top of the net in. Aquinas up three. Rolling here in game one. Top of the net banger Aquinas really rolling in this game. I believe this is Michigan State's secondary team. I did see maybe even in the same pool. I can't quite remember a Michigan or a MSU Green. I believe this is MSU E. So probably their secondary team might explain why they're a little bit rough around the edges. They're not playing bad, however. I wouldn't say they're playing bad at all. They're just, Aquinas is just playing a lot better than them at this point. Now, Ryguy playing that out. Ryan P doesn't hit a good challenge there, but Stocks is gonna be right there. Now for Spanks, banging it downfield. Miko's not gonna get up for it at all. Instead, watches it go into the net. Aquinas now starting to threaten the Brazil. Up five to one, just over halftime. Still plenty of time to go. Hopping back off the kickoff. Michigan State has not gotten a real opportunity yet. Again, their only goal came off of a very unfortunate series of events from Aquinas' own goaling. Stocks passing that up. Right guy's going to turn back on that, but he turns back as Ryan does not get a good touch on it, but now he will get the clear out. Stocks, though, going up to keep it in. Spanks racing up on that. He's going to play it high. Stocks racing in for the shot. Oh, off the post and just out. Not able to get it to bounce in the net. Spanks with a good challenge. Passing it to Stocks, great passing play, demo AQ meta again, Stocks with the goal, 6-1 AQ. Passing it 90 degrees to Stocks, gets the demo that would have been saved if not for that clutch demo. Aquinas finding their rhythm, they bounced off of the momentum, they came from their match against St. Francis and they're rolling against MSU, Rye guy's going to go up for that, he's going to play it high, Spanks just going to... Circle back on that. He chooses to go up the wall, allowing Miko to make a miss. Ryan to the other side of the field. Now Ryan guy playing that mid. Spanks trying to get there in time. He cuts back on it, maybe looking for a double tap. Chooses to let it go for Stocks, who plays it high. Still an offensive opportunity, however, off the backboard. Stocks racing in, does not get the touch. Spanks will play that out a little bit. It actually was a good decision. They may have gotten a clear out. If he didn't do that, Miko in an awkward position, and Stocks was not expecting that to happen. Ryguy trying to get back, plays it out. Spanks now will take it. One minute remains and up five to five goals. Very good shot from Riki, oh, Riki but it's wide. Stocks trying to dribble that out. He does not do it successfully, an opportunity for Michigan State, but it's out now. Now Ryguy demos one, does not get the boost. The boost was taken just at the last second. Now past mid, Spanks going up for it as he beat Ryan to it. He does now. Stocks going up for the shot, angles his car bar down and in. The Brazil has happened. We'll see if it stays. 
Oh, the, <laughs> the scoreboards are reversed. Oh, I did not even notice that. I was told that Aquinas would be blue in this match, but I guess they did choose last second to switch it, but in a best of three situation. I apologize for that. I might change it, but at the same time, maybe not worth it in a best of three if we only go one more game after this. But yes, Aquinas is actually the one up. But the Brazil is occurring right now if Michigan State does not get a goal. If Aquinas keeps rolling, they might they have an opportunity. Rye Guy cuts back on that, chooses not to take a shot. Rye Guy passing it mid. Ryan up for it, does not get a touch, but it fakes out Spanks. Miko misses. Two seconds left. It'll roll, and Aquinas will finish the game off on a Brazil, winning the game 7-1, to one, taking game one. Oh my gosh, look at the shots from Aquinas, 17 shots. Just absolute pressure, and only two for Michigan State, and I don't even count, or I, I don't even know if the own goal counted as a shot as it came off of Aquinas, only two shots to 17. Michigan State is simply not going to win playing like that. They have to try to figure out a way to beat Aquinas on all these offensive possessions they're having. Let me ready up here. I'm the only one who hasn't done so. But they're not able to get the ball out. Aquinas just continues the pressure. They don't get a good clear. Aquinas turns right back on it. This is Aquinas' starting roster. They're going to turn back a lot more. They're going to play a lot more confidently than maybe we've seen the white team play. And that's not a knock on white. It's just the confidence of this starting squad. As we hop back in to game two, <laughs> I apologize. I did not switch the overlays at all. I'll just leave it up like this. But as we hop into game two, Aquinas rolling. Just remember that they are flipped around. Aquinas is in orange. It'll be backwards, but we can deal with it. I just angry apologize for the miscommunication. That may not have even been his fault. It could have been just the, t the teams hopped into the wrong. I did notice Michigan State did hop into the match first. They may have chosen blue on accident. No big deal, however, in a best of three situation. It's going to end fairly soon anyway. Now it's going to be played off the wall by Miko, but Spanks is going to meet that. Stocks now playing that off the wall towards the corner, maybe trying to look for another touch. Not able to. Miko with a good clear out, but again, Aquinas in perfect position for these. Right guy a little awkward there. Maybe tried to flick it past the defense, but instead he just pushes it into the defense. Now Spanks Choosing not to go up the wall for that allows Stocks to try to get that out. Now, a not good, not a good touch from Riki. Now, Rye Guy not a good touch either. He could have had a shot opportunity or pass opportunity. Two men up for Michigan State. Rye Guy gonna race in. Another miss from Michigan State. Stocks now with an opportunity. Softly plays it into the net. Riki can do nothing but watch. He was front post. You do not want to be front post, you wanna be back post. But then again, he did fall off the net, so he can't really get back to that in time. So instead, it's just a great play from Aquinas, trying to get that in, taking advantage of a little bit of a miscue from Michigan State. Now Stocks maybe looking for a flipper. He said he does get it, gets the second touch, now pass to Spakes, shot off and wide. Rye Guy hesitating on that great hesitation allowed Miko to get faked out by it. Riki now with an opportunity. Does not get a touch. A common theme for Michigan State is they're just not getting touches. Pass now to Spanks. Into the net. Goal Aquinas up 2-0. Looking to march on to round three. Rolls around the corner. Stock smacks it down for Spanks. Who spanks it into the net. 2-0 Aquinas. Absolutely rolling in this match. Spanks now going to play that off the wall. A little bit of a soft touch. Ryan's going to come after it, but Spanks beats him to it. Pass to Rye Guy. Blasting it off the wall. I think he got that just as it hit for the most powerful touch possible. Ryan P not getting a good touch again, but a miss from Aquinas. And I don't know if that was teammates who bumped there or what, or position or perspective change at the last second. Stock's going to play at mid. The angled shot, and it's actually own gold. I believe that was Riki. We'll see here in the replay, but a goal. 3-0 Aquinas Stocks slams that down. It was Riki trying to play that out, but instead his car was angled just like Spanks in the match prior in a poor position. Aquinas up 
Now they're going to have a chance off of kickoff as Ryguy takes that towards the backboard. Miko, not a great touch, but Ryan is able to get there in time. Stocks going up. Did not expect that to go off the ceiling, and Spanks will catch that as it touches the ground now. Looking for Ryguy. He's going to let it go for him, taking the shot. Slam down. Riki can't get to it. Aquine is absolutely rolling at this rate. Will easily take this match. Just a great air dribble pass, and Ryguy slamming it down was actually the correct choice as the defender was right in the way, and if he would have done anything else, it would have smacked right into the defender and cleared out. Now towards the corner is Miko. Spanks not reading that properly, and a Michigan State has an opportunity, but maybe Ryguy calculating that fake. Stocks look to dribble it. Now he's going to try to push it past the defender, Riki, though, with a good clear out. A chance now, but they don't get it, and the demo comes out. Now Ryguy looking to pass it towards Spanks, who hooks that shot into the net. One of the most powerful shots you can take in the game. And as you can see, that wasn't even the fastest that can go. And he uses flip, too. If you can hook that perfectly, you can, you can hit that way harder. But still, 79 mile per hour shot. Aquinas up 5-0. to zero. Hasn't allowed Michigan State to get a goal of their own at all this series. Only, go on, only goal on an own goal. Just absolutely rolling in this match. Spanks, great dunk tank, taken. Ryguy now will beat the other Ryan in the lobby. Now it's going to be down. Miko trying to play that off the wall, but another miss from them. Ryan awkward. Riki able to get to it. Ryan... The right guy, though, misses too many Ryans in this lobby. Now, Stock's going to take a shot. Bottom left corner, Riki does get to it. Great save by him. Spanks playing that off. Great dunk pass to Stocks into the net. Oh, my gosh. Aquinas will take every dunk they can. Spanks this time gets a touch and then a second off of Ryan. Stocks into the net. Both men in an awkward position. Aquinas absolutely rolling and is going to take this match. Stocks looking for it off the ceiling, just slams it straight down for Ryan P. Now an opportunity, but he pushes it wide. Had a wide open net, could have given themselves momentum heading into their next match after this. Stocks now playing that off the corner. Ryan Guy, that's a good dunk from Ryan P, and that's gonna roll all the way down, and Michigan State does get a goal, and that was a great dunk from Ryan. Off of the other Ryan, as I keep saying, they keep meeting each other. Great dunk, Tankin rolls all the way down. Aquinas not expecting that at all. Michigan State does get a goal, but still down five with a minute 27 left. Off of kickoff, Spanks, good choice to get that. Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. Spanks just Flexing on them at this point to set up the Brazil. Goes up, uses his flip, a pre-flip shot. I didn't even notice that it was a pre-flip, pre-flip. Stumbling over my words. Spanks just showing up Michigan State at this point. The Brazil has occurred earlier than it did in game one. Aquinas might just look to keep the momentum up. And that's something you gotta figure out how to go about perfectly. You don't wanna just get overly cocky heading into the next match. But at the same time, you don't wanna get cold and just not try and give up to this team. So it looks like they're looking to continue to play aggressively, maybe not as aggressively as they has been, have been, but as I say, that stocks into the net. 8-1 Aquinas, Michigan State can get a goal. It will be a Barca. But either way, this match is going to end in an Aquinas win and a, and a march on to game three. 56 seconds. Stocks racing right by that. Maybe got a touch on Ryan P. Spanks has to wait for this. Two men collide for Mich or not Michigan State. That was Aquinas, actually. They're just going to let this go as Ryan gets that down. Spanks, good touch to clear it out. Now, Sp or Stocks. Ryan P with a soft clear out. Not enough as Spanks is going to be there. Passing it to Ryguy who pre-jumped for that. The pre-jump came back to bite him, though he's not able to get a good touch on it. Stocks sending that down into the net. Awkward for Michigan State. They're probably just reeling at this point, hoping to get out of this. And Stocks just adds to the wound a little bit more. Middle of the net. Midfield, Aquinas. 
absolutely rolling. And once this game ends, I will hop over and I will see how Aquinas White is doing. When this match started, or at least a minute before it started, I did not see that their match had ended yet. So we will check it out and see. Spanx looking for a pass to Ryguy. Not able to get there. Stocks choosing not to turn on that. He'll turn back now, though. As Michigan State again gets a miscue. Final 10 seconds. See what happens here. Miko actually fakes out Spanx, but it doesn't work out as Ryguy will clear that out. GG's Michigan State. It's a very tough matchup when you're probably the secondary team, the B team. They're choosing to play this up, choosing to play with rule zero. Michigan State slamming it off of them, maybe just looking to get out of this lobby. Ryguy hits it off the wall and out, and we... And just like that, Aquinas does take the match and will march on to the next round. And let me hop over and see, well, first of all, 13 shots from Aquinas. So MSU getting a little bit more pressure. They only had a few. They had four this game. I guess it's only one more than last, but they did get their own goal this game. As we hop over and we see, unfortunately, Aquinas White did lose 2-0 to their opponent. So they are in the loser's bracket now. I'm trying to find them. Let's see here. They are in another match currently, but I don't know if I mentioned we will be sticking with. Hold on. We will be sticking with Aquinas Maroon until they either qualify or are out. And then we will hop over to Aquinas White, assuming they are still in. But as we wrap up here, Aquinas has their next opponent ready. Let's see. It will be Syracuse University, a big school, big chance now for Aquinas to show who they are. Until then, I will get the overlays ready. Maybe I'll get it right this time on the colors. But until then, enjoy the music.
Welcome back, everybody. Hopping quickly into this match, and I'm still not sure of the colors. Let's see if we got we are blue, so I believe that's the same. Let me check. We are blue, in fact, and it does make sense as we are against Syracuse University, wanting to stick with their school colors. This will be a very tough matchup for Aquinas. However, Syracuse, despite them being one of the top seeds in the tournament they did receive a bye and then their second opponent did not show up another disqualification so Aquinas rolling off of two dominating wins faces now Syracuse who has not played today but either way that's not just you can't just say oh it's just going to easily happen you have to still come in tough this uh, this Syracuse team just a second here Move this over. Here we go. Uh, this Syracuse team did make it all the way over to, let's see, I think it was the semifinal, either the quarter or the semifinals, and only dropped to Akron, a perennial CRL team. And now Patrick will get an early goal for Syracuse, playing that off for a double tap. Aquinas down 1-0 early. Ryguy playing that awkwardly out. A little bit of panic for Aquinas. I hope they're not coming in here a little bit too worried because that was a miscommunication or a miscue that we have not seen yet today. As I said, Syracuse only dropped to Akron, a very, very good team. Now another chance for Syracuse that will be high off the backboard. Spanks is gonna play that out. Now another chance for Syracuse. Stocks looking for another touch, does not get a touch, but he actually faked out one. Now a pass over to Spanks, he can cut on that in time. He doesn't, Stocks actually. Trying to make the play on that. Now Mason Star down towards the other side, Spanks is going to clear that out. We're going to see much faster gameplay here, even from Aquinas. They're going to have to play faster chance. Now, right guy into the net, tied up one to one. That's how you want to come back in this game. Do it early. You can't wait too long. You can't give Syracuse all that momentum. You come right out. You show them what you are made of. And just like that, 40 seconds in, we're tied back up at one. Killed at kickoff. Ryguy pushes it past one. Now, Gavaloni. We played high, but Gavaloni, good touch off the backboard. Patrick trying to play that out. Ryguy trying to take a dunk off of Patrick. He does. Meeting stocks for a pinch, but it was challenged by Mason Star. Patrick actually misses. Aquinas maybe chose to cut back on that. Very close from Gavaloni. Now pass to midfield to Patrick Spanks racing in just in time. Now Stocks, one man back. It's Gavaloni, but he hits it straight to him instead of playing it off of the backboard directly above the net. Could have worked out for a pass. Mason stars in front of the ball, misses. Stocks instead playing that up. That's very dangerous now. Two men miss, or two men collide, I should say, not miss. And I believe they pinched that out. That ball came out at a very high velocity. Gavaloni playing it towards Mason Star, who has to turn back on it, but he does play it back to Gavaloni to Patrick. Stocks good dunk. Now nobody back for Syracuse. This is an opportunity for Aquinas to go up. Spanks maybe has to look for a back pass. Does not get it. Gavaloni going to play it out off the wall. Stocks will go up the wall on this. Meets Spanks for a pinch. Mason Star just going to redirect that up towards the corner. Meets St Stocks for a dunk. Now pass towards mid. Spanks playing it out, no boost to his name, can't do anything about it, maybe look to steal their corner. He does get the corner though. Now Stocks will turn back on that, he's just gonna push it towards the net. Gavaloni in a very awkward position, gets a good touch, Spanks right up with net, bottom left, not able to get there in time is Syracuse. Spanks puts Aquinas up two to one. And we are still in a best of three situation, this is still huge, we do not see a best of five until I would have to tab out, but I believe it's either the quarters or the semis. So still a best of three. This, this type of event is always about momentum. You need momentum in a best of three. You only have two losses, and all it takes is two wins. You could see for Aquinas against St. Francis, very close game one, but they fought back and won in overtime and used that momentum to propel them to the win. And now against Syracuse. Another Division I school, a very tough opponent. They have momentum so far. They're stopping their opportunities. Stocks now has to play that out. He does. Gavaloni's got to race back on that. He'll easily turn back on it, though. That's going to be down for Ryguy to play it towards mid. Spanks looking for a redirect. He gets it, but Mason Star playing that excellently. Gets the stop. Ryguy turning back. Mason Star will pick up the mid as he 
tries to recover. Now Patrick up, met by Spanx. Ryguy is there for a dunk. Stock's going to clear that out. Past Gavaloni is going to take the mid boost as he pushes forward. Gavaloni does push it past Ryguy. He's got a half flip for that one. Gets demoed on the play. Chance out for Syracuse, but he misses. Ryguy playing that out to Spanx. Gavalone with a good stop. I'm not sure if that's even Gavalone or Gavaloni. I will always choose to mispronounce them. But Spanx now using his flip, not able to get to it, but still dangerous. But Patrick is going to clear that out. Ryguy up towards Mason Star, who's going to get a powerful touch towards the other side. But Stocks with a good touch of his own towards Patrick. Patrick does play that well. It's a little dangerous if that rolls off the front of his hitbox. Going to look for a dunk off the wall, and I'm not sure who that was in, in net for Aquinas. We'll have to watch over this again, maybe try to figure out what he was thinking. It's Stocks. He goes up, not expecting a second touch to come out, however, and Syracuse does tie us up with 59 seconds remaining. That's going to be out now. Stocks forced to take the corner boost. Spanks with a good clear out but it's directly towards Mason star now stocks takes a good dunk but it's gonna be left for Gavlon right guy gonna play that off the wall Patrick clearing it out Spanks but it's directly towards Syracuse miscommunication from them however stocks does get the clear out back pass by Mason star he's gonna play that up look for something off the ceiling does use his flip stocks playing that up off the ceiling Gavlon gonna be there but now Ryguy with an opportunity, passes it wide, but nobody was there. Spanx too close to mid, maybe expecting a mid pass. Mason Star up, bar down, out. Ryguy has to play this out well, and he does. Spanx pushing that up last 10 seconds. Now we'll see if anybody takes a goal or if we will head into overtime. Now chance for Spanx, but he misses it, and it will roll, and we will see overtime here in game one. No matter what happens here, Aquinas has to use the momentum. They they, they are all competing extremely well. Now a demo comes out. Right guy with a shot. Too soft. Bums out. Comes out too late. Spanks gets the shot wide. Now Stocks playing that up for Spanks. Looking for a redirect. He does get it. Right guy is going to take the shot. Mason Star playing that out. Gavalone with the redirect. Stocks with no boost. Actually gets up to it. And a demo will slow down the opportunity. Mason Star that's off. And Ryguy playing that out. Stocks, soft pass out. Now Gavlon with an opportunity to top left, or top right, actually. Spanx looking for a pinch off the wall. No boost, can't do anything. Or Aquinas, very boost starved at this point. Soft bump comes out. Now that's going to be into the net. Syracuse will take game one in a very intense overtime. Off the corner, uses his flip and just gets the very tight angle. For Aquinas, however, you have to look at the grand scheme of things in that game. They played extremely well against Syracuse, top CRL contender. Trying to make it in was very close last weekend. They did have so much pressure. However, 14 shots, and for Aquinas to only give up three is insane. Now we're ready up. We might hop into this quickly in seven saves for Aquinas. Very tough to win when you're giving up that much pressure. Hopping into game two, Aquinas going to be forced to take a reverse sweep in this. They did play extremely well. However, they do have a chance to do this. Ryguy off kickoff is going to be beat. Now Spanx turning back on that, but he misses it. And now a chance. Stocks. Good choice in pushing early, avoids any bump or demo that could have taken place, but that's going to be cleared out by Gavalone. Good shot now, but Mason Star with a great save, top left. Gets a good touch now to clear out. Going to look for a flick. That might roll straight down, it does, but played well. And nobody from Aquinas is there in time. Ryguy trying to take a dunk and instead cleared towards the other side. Now Ryguy trying to take a hook shot, not able to. 
Gavaloni gonna play this off the wall, use the last bit of his boost to try to get another touch on it. Patrick now with a shot, top, bar down and in, and Patrick with a goal, puts Syracuse up. Great play from Syracuse, and Aquinas a little bit panicky on that, and Patrick is able to swoop down in time to knock it in. Off the kickoff. Cavalone's gonna play that up. is not gonna get to that in time, not quick enough on his aerial. Spanks is gonna go up for that. Double commit for Syracuse. Now a chance for Aquinas. Nobody back if Spanks can secure this. And a demo comes out and Syracuse very nearly saved that, but it doesn't matter. It counts just the same. Spanks got just enough on that and Mason almost was able to flip into that. Aquinas does tie it up, however, very quickly after the goal was given up. Now Ryguy with a shot, top right. It's just a little bit high. Now Stocks with a shot. Patrick up in time, double commit for Syracuse. Gavaloni is gonna try to play this out. Spanks with no boost, maybe faking it out. Ryguy not able to do it, and Syracuse will clear it out. Looking for a ceiling shot, he misses it. However, Stocks Booming it down, but actually takes a great dunk that has a chance. Patrick smartly just lets that touch his car and bounce out. Ryguy putting pressure on. Now Mason Star passes it towards Stocks now with an opportunity, but he pushes it wide. Maybe looking for a pass. Demo does come out. Now Spanks looking for Ryguy, who's there in time, but he pushes the shot wide. He's got to put that on target. It had a chance. I'm not sure if Patrick would have been able to make that stop. And now Syracuse. Gets the clear out, Rye Guy collecting boost, going off the backboard, trying to clear out. Stocks now. Gets a touch off the corner, pass towards Spanks, but Gavaloni's gonna read that all the way, clear it all the way down. Stocks good clear, but again, just towards Patrick. Actually, Patrick, maybe not expecting that to be so fast, he's gonna try to play that off the wall now, gets a soft pinch, but it's towards Rye Guy. But Gavaloni with an easy save. Spanks maybe faking out Stocks towards Ryguy. Back to Stocks now over towards Spanks. A lot of passing going out for Aquinas, but it's not working out. And we're still tied up at halftime. Aquinas, though, trying to threaten, trying to get a goal. Stocks with no boost. Spanks now off the wall, looking for a dunk. Not able to get one. Stocks again, but he's beaten by Gavaloni. But now Ryguy, if he can't get up in time, he can't. Spanks is back for this. It's a good clear out. Right guy choosing not to cut back and sit stocks on the rotation will push up. Missed by Mason Star big and the demo comes out, but stocks not able to get there in time. There's no way you can expect him to get that touch. And just like that, Syracuse will get the goal. That is so unfortunate for Aquinas. They had a goal opportunity, but instead Mason pinches it before he gets demoed. Goes all the way down into the net. Syracuse up two to one. With two minutes remaining, Aquinas still an opportunity. They threatened a lot. They just have to take advantage of this a lot more. Stocks clearing it down to nobody, towards nobody. That's how you want to do it. Now Ryguy racing up much too far away. Does get a dunk, however. Stocks turning back, leaving it for Spanx. Now Patrick looking to clear that out. That's on target, and I'm not sure if Aquinas thought that was wide or if Stocks was desperate for boost or what happened here, but Patrick just sends it down. I think that would have been wide. It counted as a shot, but Stocks, seeing that it was a shot, does try to go for the save, but instead he redirects it into his own goal. And now Syracuse with insurance, and they're starting to come alive now. Shot is just barred down. Mason Star passing it to Gavalone. It's going to be top, but Patrick not able to get a redirect in time. Ryguy trying to recover on this, not able to. Spanx will get a clear out. Patrick not, without a touch. Stocks with a flick, trying to get it past Mason Star, not able to. Spanx with no boost, cannot do anything here. Spank, or Stocks. Trying to do something about a one minute remains. Aquinas needs two goals, and if all else fails, you just want momentum. And I would argue that they absolutely have momentum. They are playing extremely well against this team. It's just several misplays. Fry guy, just like that, you have to put that into the goal. You have to give yourself a chance in stocks. 
playing very, very conservative. Now an opportunity wide open goal for Stock Center of the net. 35 seconds remain. Aquinas still an opportunity. They do take advantage of a chance they were given. Very good dunk taken by Aquinas. Syracuse pushing up on that, playing a little bit too aggressive. And Aquinas does have 35 seconds to make something happen. Spank's going to play that off the wall, but he actually doesn't. Now Mason, wide open net. And you cannot play like that if you're Aquinas, if you want to take this game. Again, you still have a chance. 30 seconds. Two goals is easy in 30 seconds with the pressure that they've been having. You just have to take advantage of these opportunities you've been given. And a goal off of kickoff will put Syracuse up by three. And at this rate, if Aquinas does not get a kickoff goal of their own on this next kickoff, it will probably seal this match and they will drop to the loser's bracket. Off of kickoff, very tough. Aquinas wants a goal right away, but they're not gonna get one. 20 seconds remain if they don't get a goal right now. They'll have to drop down and that will be cleared out, and that will seal it here in this match. Aquinas is going to drop to Syracuse, who adds in another goal, looking for momentum of their own, heading into their next match. Aquinas is not out yet. However, remember, this is a double elimination tournament. They will have an opportunity in the loser's bracket. It's going to be a farther climb. But they've played well in all three matches. I think this could have been just a little bit of nerves knowing you're going against a very solid team like Syracuse. Looking for something to end the game with. Looking for a consolation. Last second now. Choosing to play it up. That will touch the ground in Syracuse. Taking the match. We will see who our next opponent is. Eight shots from Syracuse on six goals. And Aquinas actually had nine shots that game. They had all the opportunities in the world, but Syracuse making a ton of saves, stopping it all. Aquinas will drop down to the loser's bracket, and we will follow them there. They just need to clean up those little bit of miscues and misplays, and they will have it. And until then, I will turn on the music, and I will see you guys in a few minutes. I am going to come back just to say real quick because it looks like it might be a while looking in the loser's bracket. Loser's brackets always go much, much slower than the winner's bracket do. Than the winner's bracket do. And as I'm looking at it, there is a match in loser's round one that is still occurring. And then the winner of that will face Nichols College Bison. And then the winner of that match will face Aquinas in the match. And it's scheduled to start this or this round, excuse me, tripping over my words. I need to take a break here. That match is scheduled to start at 1.55 p.m., so it looks like we're still on target for these, and they will be also best of three, so it's not going to take absolutely forever. Next round should start at about 1.25. Then Aquinas' next match will start around 1.55, so if you want, you can come back around then, or you can just leave us up in the background. Whatever happens, we'll just be playing some music. It might repeat after a while. I don't have much ready for us, but I will see you guys back here in a while.
someone else All we want, all we want is please Giving us, giving no time to breathe
open eye Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Can't make calls collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Dripping lights Paint the sky There's a distance between us It's getting hard to reach out Haven't seen you in seasons But all I hear is your voice I know my limits You can break me down but I'll stay till the finish line And I've been counting minutes for quite some time now Just to see you again And I've been counting days to get away Millions of reasons 
Yeah.
Welcome back, everybody. A very quick transition here. Aquinas finally has their opponent ready to go. They are going to be facing Humber, either Humber or Huber College. Again, I have no idea. Probably pronounced it wrong, but either way, they are in the loser's bracket now. Hold on, let me put the overlay up. Forgot about that. In the loser's bracket now, it's still a best of three. So still, you can't just give it away right away you have to come out with high pressure wish is gonna take a shot oh my gosh rye guy with a very good save stopping that ball at the very last moment now mora with an opportunity but rye guy actually whiffs on that spanx is gonna push it to the corner now goldie trying to go up for that stocks gets beaten by wishes but now spanx will have an opportunity coming off the wall hook shots at wide open net in front of him puts it in a little too close for comfort for me but a goal counts just the same the defender raced in on that but he did get it by him and Aquinas will go up one to zero now this Humber school has already won a couple games in the losers bracket I believe it's two yes they did they have won two they won their very first match before dropping their next and then they played two in the losers bracket so this will be an interesting matchup for Aquinas as the opponent, sorry, I was trying to make sure nothing happens in the game. Wish is going to have an opportunity for a guy stopping that. It's very interesting because Humber's coming off of two straight wins while Aquinas, even though they played against an insanely tough opponent, is coming off of a loss. So it's interesting to see, it'll be interesting to see how Aquinas responds to this. And so far it's coming out well. They're starting off well. They're trying to get pressure so far not able to clear out very well stocks now will have an opportunity does beat goldie to it no boost right guy gets a demo back a little bit spanx chooses to half flip out of that works out fakes out mora and now a double commit from aquinas goldie with an opportunity but stocks gets up there first right guy with no boost tries to get it to spanx or tries to get it to stocks now Spinks not able to get a touch pass back to Mora. Gonna clear it down. Goal or a demo. Demo's coming out everywhere for both teams. Both teams playing a very aggressive demo heavy play style. So far, Mora gets the goal off the defender and ties it up. Goldie passing it down. Spanks didn't get a touch. If he could have gotten that, he would have been able to clear it out, but unfortunately he does not. And instead, it goes straight down and into the net. We are tied. Now dumped into the corner. Goldie playing it out towards Spanx, who gets a soft redirect. Wish is going to wait for that. Spanx, good challenge, but Stocks was turning away on it. Stocks again pushing it towards the net. Wish is going to clean that up. Mora going to drop it down, but it's towards Spanx, who only pushes it towards the side. Stocks now cannot get there in time. Mora with an opportunity. Rye guy very back post that you don't want to be that far back post because he's not able to recover in time. And Humber goes up two to one. Just flips, instead of flipping towards the ball, flips into the net. So that mixed with him being too far out of the net, maybe looking for boost. The opponent will take the lead here off of kickoff. It'll be down for Stocks to now into the corner. Rye guy. Realized he didn't have a chance at it, so he'll rotate back now. Spanks cutting back on it. Does not pick up the boost. Leaves it for Stocks. Now Rye Guy towards the side. Stocks getting it past Goldie. Low boost. He cannot get a touch on it. Mora will try to clear it out over towards Spanks. Rye Guy beats him to it. Now a shot for Spanks, but he's beaten. Mora missing. Stocks now with an opportunity. Spanks looking for a redirect. It may have gotten a touch. I'm not sure. Stocks with an open net. Knocks it in. Tie game. We'll see if Spanks did get a touch on it. Oh, he did. He did get a touch on it. I think the opponent did as well. So the pass down works out for Stocks to knock it in. We are tied. 
I just realized that the overlay does have Aquinas up 1-0. It is still game one. I'll change that in between games. Goldie, they're not getting a touch or not a very good one. Stocks another open net. Cannot get his car around it well enough. And a demo from Humber did not allow Aquinas to get any pressure. Wishes with a good pinch. Now Goldie going up for it. Ryguy going to meet him. Wins the challenge. But Stocks bumped will give Mora the opportunity. Taking a shot, top right. Would have been off the crossbar anyway. Stocks getting bumped. Goes to Araigai actually getting a, getting bumped. Still gets a touch. Goldie with a great dunk on Stocks. He can't carry that in front of his net like that. You're bound to get dunked. If you're going to carry it, you might need to try to just jump and try to avoid that dunk. But instead, Goldie just comes up too quick. He knocks it into the net. Humber goes back up. Off of kickoff, Mora's gonna have an opportunity. He goes off the ceiling, so Stocks will turn on that. Mora, too far for Wishes to take a shot. Not sure if Ragai got a touch on it. Now he won't, because Goldie keeping it in. Double commit from Aquinas. They can't be doing this, and it will result in a goal. Aquinas has to clean this up. They cannot double commit this team. Even though they're in the loser's bracket, they're not a bad team. Just because you're in losers does not mean you're bad. And they're taking advantage of these miscues and these miscommunications by Aquinas. They have to try to clean these up. Back off of kickoff. An opportunity. Now Stocks will get a flip reset. Not sure if it quite worked out. Mora and Stocks both race by it. Banks rotating back. Decides last second to turn. He does get a touch, but it's towards Wishes. Another double commit from Aquinas that doesn't leave anybody towards mid for a pass. Banks now coming up for a shot. Goal. One goal deficit with 45 seconds still possible for Aquinas. They are doing very well on offense. They are getting these good passes and making Humber make these misses and force them out of rotation. But on defense, Aquinas is just struggling a little bit. They get a little bit panicky. They have to clean this up. Mora takes a good challenge. Spanks is the only one back right now. Does take a good challenge on Stocks. Will take one himself and win it. Past Wishes. Wide open net. Can Spanks get there in time? He redirects it up. Still an opportunity. Maybe a pinch off the wall. Pass down. Uses his flip to knock it down. Goldie going up for that. Challenge taken is won by Stocks. Pass out towards mid. Spanks with the shot. Goal. Tie game. 20 seconds left. These passing plays from Aquinas are absolutely working. You can see one man misses. Wishes comes out too far, not expecting a shot like that to be taken. And the goal is, or the ball is in the net, and Aquinas has tied it up in game one, trying to avoid falling out of the qualifier. Back pass from Ryguy. He's going to collect it again, try to take a dunk off of Mora, who wins it. Now Goldie Spanks is in an awkward position. And again, Aquinas is just panicking on defense. They have to clean this up. Stocks falls out of position. Ryguy in an awkward spot. And Spanks on the wall. All three men in that corner for Aquinas. And now nine seconds left to try and tie it up. They will have an opportunity, but both men miss. And just like that, Humber is going to take game one unless Aquinas can get two incredible kickoff goals. They're gonna have to go into game two and clean up these miscommunications. Not quite sure what's going on in the comms as to what is happening, but they're gonna have to clean it up. Maybe something can happen in the final seconds. Stocks is not gonna clear. It will touch the ground. Humber will take game one. Both teams having a lot of shots. Aquinas with nine and Humber with 10. It's just that Aquinas is panicking so much on defense. They're falling way out of position to the point where they cannot recover in time. And are not able to make these stops. But on the offense, it is working out. They're forcing Humber. Like four, four goals is amazing. You Most of the time you can win with four goals. It's just when... The defense is falling apart a little bit. It doesn't work out, and now Aquinas is going to have to win two straight games if they want to stay alive in this qualifier. 
They absolutely can do it if they clean these up. Off of kickoff and opportunity as Stocks will redirect it back to Ryguy who doesn't get a touch. Stocks too far up. Spanks gets beaten to it. Now Stocks is the only one back. Smartly plays it off the backboard. Wishes towards mid to Mora. Taking a shot. Ryguy flips out of the way of it. And Humber up 1-0 early. Ryguy challenging a little bit too early. He had to have known that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Had to have known that he was not going to get a very powerful shot. He could have just stayed back on it and waited. Two challenges. Now wide open net, but Mora gets there in time. Stocks trying to pinch that. Wishes now off his own corner. Playing it out mid to Ryguy, who also plays it out. Mora, good touch towards the side. Spanks choosing to play that up. Tries to get another touch. Now Stocks in an awkward position. Goldie with a soft shot. Stocks able to play it out. They need to get it out. Aquinas needs to get it out now and get on offense. Stocks in an awkward position. He just stops. Ryguy uses his last flip. Now no boost. Tries to beat Mora. Bump. Stocks has to just wait for it now. Makes one miss. Banks in an awkward spot. Not able to take a shot on it. Mora will challenge him. Ryguy towards the wall. Nobody there for Aquinas. Stocks goes up. Easy save into the corner for Spanks. who doesn't get a clear. Ryguy will just float that up, and it's directly to Goldie. Spanks now has to clear out. Mora taking challenges. Wishes with a shot. It's going to be wide. Stocks able to play that towards the corner, but Aquinas cannot get out of their own half right now. That pass is just towards Wishes, who's putting it back in. Aquinas not sure what's going on on defense. Humber is just playing this amazingly well. And finally, they do get out. Mora with a miss. Right guy with an open net in front of him. A double commit. And nobody there for a rebound again. Right guy thought he had an opportunity, but it, somebody else thought they had a better one. Stocks with no boost cannot go for that rebound, but Spanks will race in and clean it up. And Aquinas does get the game tying goal. Now they have to reset. They have to forget everything that's happened. We're back to a 0 0 score line. Nothing before mattered. Everything in front of them now is all that matters. If they can just reset, get their passes, get the pressure, they can do this. Spanks now will beat two men. Now he's got to look for a demo. Does not get one, but he does make the man miss. Wishes, though, with a great save off of Stock's shot. Ryguy, good challenge to keep it in. We'll try to take another. Stock's now will play it to Spanks, who has to quickly turn on this. Goldie with a miss. Now Wishes playing it off the corner. Stocks taking a shot. It's going to be high. Rebound down for anybody. Mora playing it out. Spanks will beat one to it. Wishes playing it to the other side. Now Ryguy smartly playing that bottom right. Goldie with a great save. Spanks now with a rebound. Ryguy with a rebound. Top right in the net. Aquinas up 2-1. to one. Just past halftime here. Goldie had a great save, but Spanks smartly does not take a shot on that. It can be tough to try and shoot that ball. It might be saved and smacked off to an awkward spot, but if you just pass it off the backboard, he knows that Ryguy can be there in time. Awkward off of kickoff, but it doesn't matter. Play it out. Teammates are colliding. They're not sure what's going on. Goldie now. Stocks with a great challenge. Spanks will pick up corner boost. Now Stocks with a wide open net in front of him. It'll go bottom left. 3-1 Aquinas with insurance. Starting to find the rhythm now. They caught Humber off on the counter attack. Nobody able to get back in time. Spanks just flipping to the side of that in case it was wide. Making sure he doesn't touch it. Aquinas up 3-1. Starting to get it now. They need to keep this up off of kickoff. They will have an opportunity. Spanks taking it off the wall. It'll be towards the net. Goldie making the save. Spanks not able to take the dunk. Stocks with no boost will pass it mid. Right guy back off the corner, allowing Stocks to get back and get some boost. Goldie now plays that up. Wishes, however, will get a touch, but it's straight to Rye Guy who blasts it. Does not push it past Mora. However, a demo comes out. Stocks on Wishes. Slows down the attack from Humber. Mora now with a shot. Save for Stocks. Both men in an awkward position again. Both men in an awkward position spot they need to communicate better on defense there's no reason that both men should be going up for that 
if they can clean that up and have one men on back post, that's an easy save. But instead, both are next to each other front post and not able to get to that. However, they still do have the lead. They just need to clean this up and get more pressure on offense. Stocks now with a shot towards Wishes. Banks racing in a little too early for the challenge. Now Wishes trying to play that out. Off into the corner, looking for a demo. He does collect the demo that's gonna be up. Stock's gonna turn back around, try to take a shot. Again, a double commit from Aquinas. They have to stop doing this. One minute remains. That ball's gonna be played out by Stocks with little boost trying to take a challenge. Spanx playing that towards this side. Now Ryguy playing it up. Nobody from Aquinas is up. Again, a double commit from Aquinas. It just becomes frustrating to watch at this point, especially when they have opportunities. Humber does. They do not take advantage of it. And now another chance, but played out by Stocks. Not sure what's going on with the comms. They just seem to be a little over aggressive. Wishes is going to choose to back past that. Now down in front, a miss from the defender. Opens this up for Aquinas now. Goldie will beat one man to it. Now with a shot opportunity, and he gets the goal. 10 seconds remain. Tied up three to three. Spanx just backflips, like does not get up to it. Humber ties it up, 10 seconds remain. Aquinas trying to avoid getting swept, but a chance now as Ryguy comes in for it. Goldie will be up, last few seconds. See what happens, it does stay up. However, Spanx chooses to play that off the backboard. Stocks racing in for the goal, zero seconds. Stocks wins it for Aquinas. And we will head to a game three. Stocks with the clutch goal. And as I said, reset. Nothing you've done matters. All that matters is game three. Aquinas now with all the momentum. An insane goal from Stocks. Six shots from Stocks alone. 12 shots total. Oh my goodness. Stocks. The clutch player, and you can't ignore that pass, and I apologize. I think that was Spanx passing it down, but oh my gosh. Aquinas fighting tooth and nail to stay within the game despite all the double commits. They do win, and that just means that if they can clean this up, they can easily beat this Humber squad. If they can just clean up those double commits, clean up the miscommunications, it can happen. We will see what happens heading into game three. Humber has to completely reset on this. That is so demoralizing. You had them. They came back from a two-goal deficit. But Aquinas fights back. And Sorry, I did not have the overlay ready to go. Here we go. Getting into game three. Tied one-to-one. -one. Our first game three of the day. Aquinas with momentum. Winning it with zero seconds. We'll see what can happen here. Off of kickoff, Spanx is going to try to flip towards it. He does get a touch, but he's beaten by Goldie, who wins that challenge. Goldie reversing to steal the boost. Ryguy playing that way out, though. Going to try to take a challenge, but it's played off the wall and wishes all the way down. Spanx, only man left, just has to bang it out of here. Gets one touch, and Ryguy challenge and stocks with a good clear out. Ryguy going to look for a dunk off the wall. Now he uses his flip to push it out further. Does not have any boost to take a challenge, however, off the corner. A little bit dangerous. Stocks in awkward position. Does get a touch on it. That's going to be played off the corner. Humbing, Humber coming out with pressure early. Stocks not able to get down in time for a dunk. Spanx is going to be up. Does push it past two. Does not beat Goldie, though. Going to be down more with a shot. Is going to be wide. He's going to choose to play it to the corner for Stocks, who misses actually. Spanks playing that off the backboard. Goldie winning the challenge. Rye guy fighting through everybody. Does get a clear out. Does not get another touch, but it fakes wishes out. Who's playing this slow? Now Rye guy trying to get a pass mid. Spanks with a shot. It's going to be wide, but Rye guy maybe with a shot off the backboard. Stocks gets bumped maybe by his own teammate off the post. 
Goldie does get the clear out. Not sure what happened. That was a lot going on, and now Spanx will have a chance. But Stocks double commits. Maybe that's why Spanx just kind of sat there. Sp or Stocks probably called him off on that. Good pass towards mid off of the challenge. Goldie playing it up. That's dangerous for Humber. Stocks with the shot. Goal left side of the net. Aquinas up 1-0. Goldie misplays that. He wanted to get a smack on it to clear it out, but he does not. Stocks races in into the net. Aquinas up 1-0. If they, again, I keep repeating myself, if they continue not double committing, they will have an opportunity. Stocks smartly cuts that off from wishes. Now Goldie playing it off the corner. Good challenge by Stocks. Down now Mora. Rye guy playing that off. Wishes will get a good touch towards the wall. Spank's going to choose to play that up towards Mora. Stocks a little bit too eager on that. Cannot get up to it. Rye guy hesitating for that. Gets a clear out. Goldie not in a good position. And right there you can see it cleaning up the miscommunications. I'm not sure who that was. It may have been Stocks. Smartly let Rye guy take that up the wall rather than go after it himself. That's not something that was happening in games one and two even. Now a shot and Goldie gets the goal. Rye guy does not get up in time. That's such an awkward spot in a 1v1 and you're shadowing. Not sure when to go up for it. He chooses too late and Goldie does tie us up. Rye guy will push it towards Spanx, but it's towards Mora actually, who's going to play that towards the corner stocks now, trying to get a clear out challenge taken. I did not get a touch on that, and Umber is going to clean that up. You can see that coming from a mile away when Raigai does not get a touch straight down. And even for Humber, they double committed, but it worked out as Spanks flew into the net, not able to recover in time, and Umber goes up 2-1. to one. Wishes in an awkward spot, does not... Recover very well, but nobody on Aquinas is pushing it. Now Stocks will choose to push. Spank's going to race up. Does not come in time, which is able to take a good enough challenge to leave it for Goldie, who misses, actually. Spanks maybe trying to fake. Takes a dunk shot. It's wide. Rye guy smushing it off the corner. Spanks now with a shot. It's going to be barred down and out. Stocks with an opportunity, but Goldie with a good save. Demos. On Goldie's pass now to Rye Guy. Takes a powerful shot, but Mora in a perfect spot for that. We'll stop it. It's gonna be played up for Stocks to take a shot, but he doesn't get up to it in time, and Mora plays that out. Now Mora will miss. Chance now for Aquinas. Wishes has to race back on it. Stocks not able to get there in time. Wide open net, Rye Guy. Easy enough, easiest goal you can ever score. Rye Guy, wide open net, takes advantage. And with a minute 28 remaining, we're tied back up. Again, this is game three. And if Aquinas does not win, they will drop out of the CRL qualifiers. They don't want to do it here. Now two men up. Spanks takes a good challenge. Now wishes doing what he can. Beats one man. Now takes a dunk off of Raigai. Spanks, I think he got bumped on that by wishes. Now Stocks will be up. Hitting it off the side wall towards Raigai, who... Pushes it downfield. Goldie own goals in Rye Guy credits for the goal. Aquinas goes up off of a miscue from Humber. He just shoots it down. I could kind of see this coming. I was worried. Well, not worried. I was hoping actually that he would own goal it. Not sure, and he in fact does. And just like that, Aquinas back up by one. We'll see what happens left. Just over a minute remaining. Wishes takes a good challenge. Now stocks. Pushes it past two men. Now Goldie trying to take a challenge. It's just kept at midfield. Stocks now playing it towards the side. Now Wishes with a goal over aggressive from Aquinas. Trying to get passes out, but they aren't working Stocks. Nobody there for that pass. Instead, you might just want to dump that into the corner, but he just passes it straight to Wishes, and we're tied back up. Rye guy with a pass towards Stocks off kickoff. Powerful shot. Mora misses top left, and Aquinas goes right back up. 
That is the kickoff you want to see. A 77 mile per hour banger from midfield from Stocks. Mora misses Aquinas back up four to three. All they need to do is just play their game, play their passes, play and not double commit. Stocks does miss that, however, maybe calculated because Ryguy with a very good pinch. Stocks is gonna look to keep that in the corner. No boost, Spinks gets demoed. Now nothing, Stocks actually almost had the goal with no boost. Good challenge from Ryguy is gonna allow Spanks to keep this in. Passes it, Mora passing it towards Ryguy. Gonna take a last second shot. Look for a rebound. Not able to get it, 20 seconds remain. Now Spanks, good clear, keeping it high. Stocks going up for the redirect shot. Fakes it out, into the net. This 16 seconds, I'm stumbling again, two set. Oh my goodness. This is just so insane. I meant to say two goals with 16 seconds and it appears that Aquinas will fight back for a reverse sweep, still not over. However, they need to win the kickoff. They need to keep the ball away. The kickoff is in favor of Humber, but not a very powerful touch. Comes from Wishes, Spanks with a good touch. All three men are over committing for Humber. That allows the clear to come out. Five seconds remain. It will not happen. Aquinas is going to advance to the next round of the loser's bracket. You can see Wishes gives up, allows it to roll, touches the corner onto the ground. Aquinas with the reverse sweep will advance to the next round. 11 shots from Aquinas and they cleaned up the double commits. I can't even remember if they had one. They may have had one, but they cleaned it up. They knew what they needed to do and they fight back and they went down two to one in this match before they tied it up. An own goal came out to give them the lead. Another tie and Aquinas scores two straight to seal this game and they will march on to the next round. And I believe that will be starting soon. Let me look at the bracket real quick. The appears the match is still going on between the opponents. So I will move you guys over to the Be Right Back screen and turn on some more music. Please check out the next match. Aquinas looking to fight their way through the loser's bracket. It's going to be a long run, but they can do it if they can keep this up. I will see you guys soon.
open eye Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Can't make calls collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Dripping lights Paint the sky There's a distance between us It's getting hard to reach out Haven't seen you in seasons But all I hear is your voice I know my limits You can break me down but I'll stay till the finish line And I've been counting minutes for quite some time now Just to see you again And I've been counting days to get away
Just want to give you guys a heads up. And actually, it may be hopping in now and working, but we were dealing with a laggy server. We had to wait for a moderator, but I think it might be working now. We're at the loading screen. Possibly not, though. It's taking a little bit too long. But either way, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that we are trying to get into this. And once we do, we will switch us over to the match.
Welcome back, everybody. We finally do have a lobby ready to go, but of course, it only happened when one of the opponents left the party. But we are in here, so we will wait for that last player to join before we hop into this match. We are facing Lynx Esports, and I only found out last second. I believe this is Lincoln College in Illinois, so I will refer to them as both Lynx and Lincoln. Had a lot of server issues as we hop into the match. All opponents and players are finally here. Here we go. Actually, I need to put the overlay up. But we will hop into this match. Aquinas coming off of a reverse sweep win against Humber last match. And Spanx is going to have an early opportunity. He drops it down for Stocks. who's going to play it off. Oh, they did. <laughs> I just received word from Hangry. They did choose the opposite colors. So it might be fixed in between matches, but Aquinas will be on orange, so just try to focus on that for now. Fix does get demoed, and Fire D tries to play it by, but he does not work out. Stocks will play it towards the side, straight towards Zico. Now Spanx off the wall. Stocks turning back on it, is not able to get a touch, but Ryguy will, however, Stocks looking for a redirect that does not get it past Unfo. And now Spanx plays it past him. He actually takes a challenge, and now Fire D or fired, I, I don't know, it could be fired, he could be fired, I don't know anymore. It's been a long day, Stocks trying to get it towards the net, does not work out, however, now Unfo trying to play it towards the side. Fired coming up for that, Spanx up, Zico, Demo comes out, Lynx with a very aggressive play style, it will work out for them, they will get the first goal of the match. That demo is what opened up space. Ryguy can do nothing but try and get up for that. Does not work out. And Lynx will go up first. Info up for that. Stocks does play it well off the backboard. Now he'll turn back around on that. He'll beat one to it. Now he'll try to play it off the walls into the corner. Now fired. Right guy cannot get to that, and now that's going to be wide, actually. Unfo had a wide open shot. Both men miss. Now Spanx leaves it dropped down. Fired's going to play that back. Stocks not expecting that to happen. He'll keep playing it back. Stocks now with a good pass towards mid. Can one get there? Another double commit from Aquinas has become very characteristic these past two matches. Now another double commit comes out, but they both combine for it, and it works out for a very powerful touch. However, that's not how you want a powerful touch to come out. Stocks turning back around on it. will clear it towards the other side, but Unfo up. Ragai will now be up for it, but fired into the corner. Unfo taking a redirect shot. It's going to be wide. Stocks racing in. Taking it up the wall is beaten by Zico. Now Spanx. Off the wall, Stocks will get a touch into the corner, but Unfo will be there first. Ragai taking a shot. It's a little bit wide. Spanx is not going to touch as it dropped. Now Zico trying to back pass it. Cleared down now off the corner. Good challenge taken, and now Spanx cannot get there in time to take an open shot. Instead, he's challenged. Unfo playing that down. Ryguy playing that off the corner to Stocks. He's going to play that high and wide. Fired going off of the wall for this. Spanx just pushes that up. Ryguy in a very awkward spot. Does get a touch. To prevent a shot from coming out. Stocks now playing it off the wall. Gets another touch pass. Push past Unfo. Now he's got fire to beat. He's going to try to dribble it. Spanks maybe looking for a demo. But he doesn't end up going to her. Maybe looking for a pass. Ryguy with a very good challenge. Keeps it up for Stocks. He takes a shot down towards Spanks. Cannot get the rebound. Ryguy is going to have to turn on that. Good job keeping it in. Spanks turning on it as well. Pass towards mid towards Ryguy. Oh my goodness, almost stopped by Lynx. I'm not sure who that was, but Ryguy sticking through with it still gets the goal to tie us up. Zico misses. Ryguy, I thought he had an open net, but Fired nearly saves that. But instead, it just slams down into the net, and Aquinas has tied it up. Now chase off of kickoff if Ryguy can get there. He flicks it over. That's exactly how you want to do that at lower levels. And even if you panic, you might just think about just slamming that into the net, but instead he jumps up, then flicks it up above the defender and gets the goal. If you just slam that, that's going to go directly into the defender. But Ryguy, smart play, ties us up. Now another opportunity off kickoff. These kickoffs are starting 
to work out for Aquinas. They instead leave it for Stocks. He's going to push it wide. Fired. Good backflip. Save. Clears it out. Info doesn't get much of a touch there. Now it's going to be left for Stocks. See what he does with it. He instead takes it up. I thought he was going to boom that, but he dribbles it up. Maybe gets a flip off of it. Spanks into the corner. Rye guy not in there. Not there in time. Stocks last man back. Awkward with no boost, but that's going to be pushed past the goal. Unfo, very good challenge by Spanks there. Now it's going to be pushed out. Stocks racing up for it. Plenty of boost to work with, but Zico will unfortunately get there first. Unfo shooting it down towards the net. Got to get up. Rye guy does and makes the stop, playing it off the backboard. Now fired. Stocks coming up on it. Loses control. Now Stocks with no boost. Spanks taking a challenge to keep it up. Zico passes it over towards Rye guy. Spanks out of position, not able to do much with that. Off the corner now, fired. Passing it to Unfo, takes a shot. It's going to be soft, but a demo, but it's high. Lynx had an open net, but the shot came out a little bit too high. Aquinas squeaks by there. 30 seconds remain. They're up by one. Fire D messes up on that shot. Taken from Stocks with the dunk. Insurance comes out with 22 seconds. Aquinas looking to take game one. Plays it off of Zico and then dunks it right off of him into the net. Stocks putting Aquinas up by two. Looking to take game one. They're coming out a lot stronger here than they did against Humber. Stocks in an awkward spot. Maybe he has to fake it. But Fire D's, or Fire D's touch, I'm going to go back and forth, I apologize if you're a fan of the Lynx here. But with nine seconds remaining in the ball in Aquinas' offensive half, Aquinas is going to take game one. We'll see what happens with the last few seconds, and they actually will get a consolation goal to increase their momentum heading into game two. Spanks, oh my goodness, look at that redirect. He uses the side of his car to redirect that into the net. Two seconds remain. Off of kickoff, it might just touch. Exegico will keep that up. Stocks catching it, allows it to touch, and they will head into game two with a 1-0 lead. Equal shots. Both teams had, a, had about the same amount of shots. Same thing with saves. They actually had the same amount of saves. It was very back and forth. Very good game. And Aquinas definitely came back from that. I believe they scored four unanswered. And I am actually just going to, actually, after I hit spectate, I will just change it so that it will be blue 1-0. Just know that that means Aquinas and not the Lynx. So Aquinas up 1-0, looking to sweep Links here and continue to advance through the loser's bracket. Off of kickoff, Aquinas did not get a touch on that. Fire D using his flip, looking for a double tap. Pass down now, but Zico actually misses, but Unfo with an open net. Stocks not able to get down in time, and Links up early. Fired gets a very good touch. Nearly gets a double tap, but Spanks, I think, expecting a double tap. And instead, they will get the goal off the rebound. Guy off of kickoff, just pushes it towards the net. Now he'll have an opportunity, drops it down for Stocks, racing in. Zico is possibly looking for a bump, but he did not get to him in time, but the stop was still made. Now teams pinch towards the other side. Now a dunk, double commit from Aquinas that leaves nobody in the net. Stocks going up for it, good touch and a dunk. But now Zico will have an opportunity, a little bit out of whack after that touch. Stocks clears it down, but fired in a good spot to knock that towards the side, otherwise that would have been a goal. Rye guy with a good pass towards mid, but unfortunately nobody's there. Now Unfo up. Zico now passing it towards Fired. Challenge taken and it's made. Zico with a soft shot. It's going to be in the net. Up 2-0 are the Lynx. Stocks' touch just went straight up, and unfortunately Zico just gets a touch down. Spanks trying to fly down for that. Does not get the touch. Aquinas down 2-0 now, but still with plenty of time. It's only been a minute. They can still do this easily if they can just force their way back into this game. Zico gets a touch that just kills it down. Spry guy into the corner. Unfo will play that out. Bump. 
Coming out now, Spanks in an awkward position, leaves it for Stocks. Good touch downfield, it's gonna be a little bit wide, but maybe now something can come out for offense. Spanks with a good touch up. Fired in an awkward spot, does get a touch on it, however. Stocks actually gets beaten by Fired. And now, a wide open net. Nobody from Aquinas can get back on that, and an open net. Spanks was in there, but awkward as Ryguy came up for the ball. Right guy did make a good decision on that, but he expected Fire to get a touch and Spanks. Again, backflipping. It's the second time he's done that in the past two matches. Maybe just panicking a little bit. Link starting to roll here in game two. Gonna be down. Spanks looking for a dunk, not able to get one. Unfo passing it back to Fire, who plays it up. Now Zico off the wall. Not challenged by anybody. Spanks will race in last second, but now Fire's actually gonna mess up on that. All three men, the same position for Aquinas. It does slow down the offense, but they still have a chance now. Spanks will get it past one. Now just two to beat as they double commit for it. Spanks with low boost. That's gonna be cleared all the way down. Right guy's gotta go up for that. Allows it to play off the backboard. Spanks just sitting and waiting for that. Another double commit from Aquinas. Both men will be up. Now, right guy, allowing him to flick that and he gets the goal. You can't give him that much space. You give players of this high of a rank that much space and they're gonna make you pay for it. He turns off of it last second, cannot get there in time. Not even half time in the links are up four to zero. Right guy in an awkward spot in links. Actually, it's gonna be wide. Right guy's gotta play that towards the side, and he does. With no boost, can't do much. Zico with a shot stopped by Spanks. Stocks now playing it out. He'll get another touch, but stopped by Unpo. That's gonna roll up the wall now for Spanks, who fakes out Unfo. He's gonna look for a pinch, but not powerful enough. Zico is there, Stocks waiting for it. Forced to rotate back, right guy not there in time. Aquinas just playing a little slow, a little out of sorts right now. Pass gonna be back for Zico. Good stop by Stocks, however. Fired's up for that. Now right guy choosing to play that towards the other side, Stocks. Get it past one. Fired's just gonna rotate back on that. Good pass over towards Spanks. It's gonna wait for it a little bit. Try to fake out Fired. Playing it off the backboard. Stocks now with an opportunity. Aquinas, even if they will not win this game, they need to try to get momentum. They need to try to find their game before they head into a game three situation. Stocks playing that up towards the side. Right guy playing that towards the bottom. So you go force a turn. It's a bump on Spanks, but now Stocks with an open, not an open, I shouldn't say open net, but he did have a very good shot opportunity, but instead he misses. Spanks playing that out too far, actually maybe looking for a pass, gets it above fired. Gets a little bit of a touch, now it's gonna be down for Ryguy to take a shot, but Unfo stopping it, Link's doing everything they need in this game. Spanks hits it straight towards fired. With 50 seconds remaining and a four goal deficit, Aquinas is gonna need to look towards game three. Good demo. That's how you want to start it. That's how you want to start to get this momentum back and figure out your game again. Spanks now. Stocks can't do anything about that. Allows right guy to take a shot. It's too soft. And even though the defender was on the opposite of the net, the lack of power on that allows him to get there in time. 30 seconds left. Aquinas just needs to look for a goal. They do have a chance now, but instead it's actually going to be Lynx with an opportunity. Right guy. Playing that very well. Stocks with a good redirect. It's gonna be wide. Fired gets a touch anyway. Right guy now with a shot. Actually passed towards Stocks. Not a touch though. Last 10 seconds. Lynx will for certain take this match. Hesitating on that touch. Minus doesn't want to get shut out, but it appears that that will be the case. Unless they can go coast to coast with this. It's gonna be played out. That will touch the ground. Aquinas will drop the game and we will head to a game three. now with a ton of pressure coming away with 11 shots. Aquinas having seven, that's not 
nothing. They just aren't getting good opportunities, and Lynx, whenever Quest does, are stopping everything. They're just going to need to figure out this team a little bit because it certainly seems that Lynx have figured out Aquinas in between games. Now Aquinas must do it again in a game three. They did it last time. They did it in a reverse sweep fashion. Now Lynx looking to do the same against Aquinas. Everybody on Aquinas taking the full 60 seconds that they have to talk this over. They don't want to waste anything. They want to talk. They want to figure out what's going on in the communications. And he is asking what the stream is. Not quite sure exactly what he's asking unless he's looking for a link. But as we hop into game three, I can't exactly send that over, especially as they hop into it right away. Here we go, game three, Aquinas, two game threes in a row. Can they do it again? Actually, one player may have hopped in too early. Never mind, everybody's in here. We will hop into game three, Aquinas. Opportunity early for Lynx. They'll get, actually, I thought that was in. I didn't think Spanx was there in time. Good play out. Unfo misses that. So does Zico now an open net. If Aquinas can catch up to it, nobody is there and fired. Going to easily catch up to that. Nobody from Aquinas expected that at all. Spinx is going to take this up. Stocks looking for a redirect down. Now Fry Guy looking to do what he can to make a pass. Spanks choosing to play that towards the side. Gets a pinch. Now he'll just let that drop down. Get a pass to stop it for Stocks. Rai guy playing that into the corner. Unfo misses it. Stocks down with the opportunity. Right side of the net. In the net. Aquinas up 1-0. That is huge for them considering that the, the fact that they got shut out in game two. You want to come right back out and get that first goal. If you take too long, you let Lynx think that they have an opportunity on you. But instead, Stocks early on gets the goal. That touch actually almost pushed it past Unfo, but he does catch up to it. Now it's going to be down dangerous stocks, though. He's going to play that out. Now a dangerous again. He pushed it too fast. Far. Spanks now doing what he can. Hits it towards Unfo. All three men are in front for Aquinas. Could be dangerous, but Ryguy, good touch. He's going to stick with it. He's going to drop it down for stocks, but Fired's going to be there. Spanks wanted to go up a little bit earlier for that. Said he allowed a challenge to potentially be taken. However, it does work out. Stocks now. Playing that towards the opposite corner will pick up boost as he falls down. He's going to look for another touch, but Zico actually will get the redirect top left. Nobody from Aquinas in net on time. Not quite sure why Stocks is playing up. It's because both men again went up the wall. And even though Spanx is the closest, he does not have enough time to get there because both him and Ryguy went up the wall for that. Tied up at one now. That ball will go straight up. It allowed Lynx to get an opportunity off kickoff. A bump comes out. Spanx playing it out. But Unfo with an opportunity will push it past Stocks. Good redirect. And a clear out. Ryguy taking a shot. Spanx can turn on this. Takes a challenge. Now Ryguy can take a shot on it. Spanx. Touching it, maybe not, maybe didn't mean to, but it does work out. But he misses the boost and the ball. Maybe tried to go for both. Leaving that for right guy gave me a heart attack, but all that means is that the comms are working. They he knew that right guy was back behind him. Spanks now with an opportunity. Unfo is high on it. Stocks now will miss. Actually leaving it for right guy. Unfo playing that down into the corner. Pass out off the corner. Stocks just pick up the corner boost. That's actually huge. That could leave one without boost. Spanks joining on that. will push it towards the net. Maybe doesn't have an opportunity off of that. Rye guy trying to take the dunk for it. Leaves it for Stocks now. Playing it off the corner. Fire's going to try to play this out. But again, Aquinas doing a good job of keeping it in. Stocks back off the corner. But nobody there. Now Spanks. He will collect this. Bump comes out. Or demo, I should say. Not a bump for the Lynx, but it does not work out, and now they will get a good clear out. Aquinas forced to retreat, good touch from Stocks. 
steals the corner boost rather than take a challenge because that allows Ryguy to take it up the corner, but Spanx is not there for the pass. Fired, hits it off the ceiling twice. Pinch down, that's actually dangerous now. If Stocks can get there in time, he does. Fired looking for a challenge. Now another challenge, Ryguy in an awkward spot, does take it up the backboard. Clear out, goes straight to Zico. Now Stocks playing that out towards mid. Right guy's gotta get there, he does. Unfo looking for a touch towards the backboard. Stocks, not enough power on it. Both him and Spanks are out of position now. Right guy with a good clear out, but straight towards Fired, taking a shot. Stocks is there. Minute 20 remain, we're still tied up. Demo on Fired will slow down offense. Stocks, sorry, Right guy actually. Spanks in the net, lets that go straight by him. He will take this up the wall and look to get it out. Aquinas finally out of their own half, now a chance. Stocks taking a shot, it's off the post! Ryguy choosing to go back on this, now he'll take the challenge. He's gonna win it, actually, because he has a chance to go after it now, but now Lynx. Opportunity, demo comes out, Stocks playing it out, straight towards Fired. Minute remains less than a minute actually and now Zico will play that back in very close match still tied up right guy taking it up the wall Zico winning the challenge that's down dangerous in the net Zico will take the lead for Aquinas or not for Aquinas for the Lynx against Aquinas with 40 seconds remaining Aquinas has still got this they're not playing bad they're not even out of position all that much they just have to take advantage of some of these opportunities as Ryguy will take it up. He's not going to touch unless it was calculated as that's going to drop down for Spanx who waits too long and cannot take a challenge on Zico. Fire's going to play that off the backboard. And that actually is stopped by Stocks. I thought he was going to go in the net. I thought he was out of sorts. He was not. 20 seconds remain. Aquinas still has a chance. They're trying to fight to stay alive in the CRL qualifiers. Spanx towards mid. That wasn't a great pass or a shot. It's straight to... The defense, 10 seconds left, Aquinas on offense, but they need it now, it needs to happen now. Unfo up for the save, gets it. Four seconds remain, it's gonna have to be done in the air. It's gonna be up, Zico playing that up. Now a chance for Ryguy to race in for the shot. Oh, an absolute heartbreaker for Aquinas. It was halfway in the net and I wish we could have replays in Rocket League for something like that because that ball had to have been Halfway into the net and Aquinas this time does not get a zero second goal to save them and they will drop out of the qualifiers but they played absolutely well in here. They had a little bit of a lull once they entered the losers bracket. Well no just before they entered the losers bracket against Syracuse and then that first match where the comms were just off but they fixed it in this match a bit but unfortunately Lynx coming out too strong and it will not happen. Aquinas drops out, and I didn't mention earlier, I forgot to, but Aquinas White did drop out. They lost their first two matches, unfortunately. So Aquinas' run is done in, this, in the CRL qualifiers this fall. They will fight again in the winter. But thank you for coming out. I know it's been a long time. It's been over three hours. I can see the timer. But thank you so much for coming out, and I believe we will be watching this Aquinas Maroon team in at least one match on Monday. I believe, oh, I'm trying to remember. Actually, no, it'll be Tuesday we'll watch the Maroon team. I believe Monday we will watch the white team in the UCEA match. Until then, thank you for coming out, and I will see you guys in a few days.